All right, we've just created an XFCE and we just finished telling in the video why not make a GNOME version. This time I won't forget to change the SDDM. So the live user is going to get uh, out logins inside GNOME. There is no breeze cursor or theme, so we don't care about it. It's not to be intended to be perfect. We just want to have GNOME super fast. This is XFCE, Control C, Control V. It's that easy. XC4, let's call it XFC4. We have Cinnamon, we have Mate, we have Plasma, we have XFC4, and all you need to do is edit some packages. It's not these guys, it's gonna be GNOME, and maybe GNOME. <coughs> Sorry, extra. Or, was it GNOME Extras? Okay, in doubt, go check the cheat sheet on Arco Linux info, GNOME Extra, okay? And again, don't rely on anybody. You go to Arch Wiki GNOME. Everything is in here, everything to learn is in here. Extra not extras. So, told him that SDDM it's going to be GNOME this time, GNOME Extra, bash completion is there, and all the rest is there. That's cool. Anything else we'd like to have? Not really. Well, we could have a look again at the cheat sheet. What do they put in here? Nautilus image converter and all the rest is from us. No, not really. What you could do as well, <laughs> keep thinking, we could have the take a look at the Arclinks B GitHubs. So I'm gonna get them in. So you go to um, Arclinks, uh, sorry, at github.com, Arclinks B, and in there, those GitHubs are in there. And we're gonna wait for GNOME to pop up and see what's in there. So GNOME, and in here is a package list. Package list is what we're using on Carly, but a lot more. As you see, there's a lot more. But what's important is the, the rest here. Kwake is here. So we say this is your GNOME thing, and we have omitted GNOME Extra. So Control C, you can just do a copy paste, and then go to your packages from Carly 6. Play around with the packages we've selected and see what happens. What if GNOME and GNOME Extra, these guys, that's the only thing that define the desktop, these two lines. Control V. Now it's GNOME, not GNOME Extra, Nautilus Image Converter, GNOME M Player, GNOME Multiwriter, GNOME Pi, GNOME Chrome, GNOME Shell. Well, pff, right? Too much. What if we just took these guys? Kwake is a terminal, that's a drop down. And GNOME and GNOME Extra, well, let's try what GNOME really looks like without GNOME Extra. sudo pacman minus s GNOME Extra. We'll know what the difference is, but first, maybe have a look at GNOME. Fine. Decisions. GNOME, meaning Carly 6, etc, sddm, auto login, GNOME, check. All right. Now we can build, so arrow up, down, type the password and wait for it. Pausing the recording. All right, the ISO has been out for a while, but I've been making uh, articles for arclinuxiso.com. So cloning it into GNOME, I believe that was the last thing we've done, and choosing Carly the last build for a quarter an hour ago. Booting up GNOME, well, Carly, and the Lego blocks for GNOME, but not GNOME Extra. So, we'll miss some things. And you have to add them to the list. The things you miss. Anything that comes from Arch Linux, no problem whatsoever. 
everything that comes from AOR, you need to package build it, you need to put it on your own repo. The only way to do it. There we are. So activities. This is what we get if we just say GNOME, right? So that's just two pages actually. Rather amazed. That's not much, right? Web weather uh, did not. Um, well, there is no browsers yet, but I did find my icon that I need, right? Install system. That's what I need. And all the rest, you can take a look. The Guake terminal. Guake F12. So here you can say sudo pacman or first set the password and then sudo pacman minus s y y u. We can initialize the packages and it seems that there are differences between servers. So the server I've built it on and the server I'm getting now is different and um, it will catch up. As simple as that. It needs to communicate. And then the packages will be there as well. Okay. So we have GNOME. This is GNOME. Okay. You need to test everything. Is sound working? Is Bluetooth working? What should I do? Etc. But it's basically GNOME. Now, what we can do as well, I believe, what is this? The web. I wanted to show you something. Arch GNOME groups. Bookmark it somewhere. Arch Linux Chrome package groups. Uh, GNOME, GNOME Extra. So what do you get if you install GNOME Extra? This one is the one I like to work with because, well, not like. That's totally wrong what I'm saying here. That's the one I must work with, need to work with, and do not like to work with it. But it's essential in development. The settings of GNOME and Budgie and, well, certainly these two and Cinnamon are all in there. So if you want to set the wallpaper, it's there and so on and so on. So all games, evolution is in something to mail. Glade, Gnome, Builder, Chess, Glotsky, all games, 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 games. Gnome Tweaks is something we're missing now. So Gnome Tweaks. So let's uh, improve. So at some point in time, you are working with your own system in this case the gnome system right and then you go to um, uh, let's let me put it here so we are working with the packages and then you realize gnome gnome extra fine and then we're going to type right i'm gonna say okay i'm gonna type that gnome extra we don't need gnome extra but we do need dconf editor trust me you're gonna need it and gnome tweaks sounds like a good thing to have too and so on what pieces of the puzzle do you want to play with yeah, gnome usage application to view information about the use of the system resources mm. sounds good sounds good gnome usage and you don't need to build it before you try it. So you can do other things first. You can install it and see if you like it. If you're into IRC, Polari. So whatever you're missing, you're missing out because we're not installing GNOME Extra, which means we do not have all these games, too much games. I would rather have GNOME uh, extra game or something like that and then we could select it or not um, so what I wanted to do control T is not working keyboard shortcuts you need to set those terminal that's gonna work and let's see if F12 is still working F12 so sudo pacman minus s gnome tweaks what are we missing do we like this particular package or not gnome tweaks it's this application that provides you some information about appearance 
all these options we have, which is nothing really because nothing has been installed yet, right? But you know, let's just click and then you know what I'm talking about. So that's GNOME tweaks. Probably uh, already agree that that's interesting to have. And then GNOME usage. Okay, the GNOME usage, let's see, F12, super key usage. So that's this guy. There was another guy with usage. Usage. The disk usage analyzer, system monitor. That's an interesting guy. Well, actually I thought it was this guy. So by mistake, I learned something and all about usage. So these guys are interesting. From time to time, you need to see how much stuff is on here. Okay. But this is something I just stumbled upon right now, which is actually not that bad either, which gives us an idea how many sort of packages there are and some kind of performance we can change, show all the processes. And we see who's root or who's not. Hmm, could be better if we're full screen. Anyway, uh, it's up to you. It really is up to you. What kind of puzzles you want to have on your system. So the GNOME usage, uh, it's all entirely up to you to decide whether you want to keep it or not. But GNOME Extra, you know now that it's a group and in a group comes a lot of stuff maybe you don't like and for me this is just enough but that's just me right again every single person that's going to build an iso is going to do something else and that's why have why we have article b build the iso yourself put on there what you like so another video gnome has been curated and we're having fun <laughs>